Let's see, Jeremiah Gabbard. Well, what's this Flight 77 traveling 77 minutes, hitting the 77-foot-tall Pentagon on the 77th meridian? And when you spell September 11th, it equals 77. Well, we live in a hologram. None of this should be surprising to you. I find these sinks all the time. Because we live in a hologram, you're going to find this type of material everywhere. That's why these guys that do gematria, they are able to decode so much, so much, because yeah, that's what it is. That they're not doing something anomalous. They're actually, it's actually anomalous to us because we're not used to these frames of references, but they're actually just decoding reality as it is because we're inside a mathematical construct. There is no way to interpret all of my thousands of data sets, thousands in my Chronicon, 510 page of a history of the world showing the mathematic perfection of the unfolding of, of historical events. It's impossible the way history has unfolded. These are coded concepts that we have been led to believe is real history when it's not. My thing is, is I'm trying to figure out where the synthetic history meets the real simulation that we began right now. I'm thinking 522 AD based off my, my new video uh, upload I did a, a few weeks ago on the Anno Domini calendar. That was a hell of a revelation for me. I did the whole video within 24 hours after making that discovery. Oh, it's it crazy. That, it, it has long disturbed me. Long disturbed me. I knew, t I knew over 14 years ago. Over 14 years ago I knew the Phoenix chronology. And over 12 years ago I knew the Nemesis X chronology. And these aren't just rash claims. Those books are published in their old. Published by Book Tree Press. Published in 2006, 2007, 2009, 2011, and 2013. So, and they're all on my, all, on my website in arcades.com. I knew those timelines back then. And it was always bothered me that there was only one year in all of world history that Phoenix and Nemesis X object were in the system at the exact same time. And yet, we didn't have but three little records about things happening in the world at, on, in 522 AD. That bothered me until I found out everything that happened in 532 and how the Roman Catholic Church falsified all the historical texts of the day, altered an entire, an entire calendar, created a new calendar to cover up the mistake, and then overlaid a newer calendar, the Anno Domini, on top of it to make sure it stayed buried. Yeah, it was devastating what happened. And now I got it. You can watch that video if you want to go find out what happened.